So in the previous video, with we learn about that seagull was not confident, don't want to be fly, but their parents revoked him again and again. After taking so many uh, efforts by her, by his mother, he is ready to fly. And what happened? He just did, because he was hunger at that time. That is why he was ready for that thing. And he wondered why his mother uh, did not come to near him. He was so mad with hunger and dived for the fish. And when he started, now the writer in this paragraph, his uh, writer describe about uh, how he start to fly. What was the feeling of the seagull when he start flying at that time? He was no longer afraid. He just felt a bit dizzy. Then he flapped with his wings again and he soared upward. Ga 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 ga. Gwa uh, called her. His uh, mother swept past at him. He, her wings make him loud noise. He answered her with the another scream. Then his father flew over him screaming. He was, uh, he saw his uh, brother and sister flying around him, curvating um, and bankering, the soaring and diving. Uh, then he completely forgot that he had not always been able to fly and commanded himself to die, dive and soar and curve frankly, surely. So what happened? He started flying. And when he started flying, he was making so much sound out there. The seagull gave out of joy of his screaming. He soared high calling, ga, 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 like that. His mother gave out a sounder in reply, uh, ga, call, like that, whatever the sound of the seagull. Then his father flew over him screaming. Then he saw his brother and uh, sister flying around him. They were roaring and diving. Means, uh, uh, sorry, means uh, flying high in the air and swooped means move rapidly downwards through the air. And shrieking means make a high pitch, precise cry or sound with, with for the joy and amusedly and the entertainment manner. So here what happened when he started flying, his mother comes too near to him his father, his brother, his sister, nearly come to him. They are making sound. They are making sound of it, they, uh, of joy and screamingly they are making so much sound. He was near and seen now, flying straight over. Um, it, uh, over, it facing the straight out over the ocean. He saw a vast green sea beneath him with little ridges moving over it and he turned his beak sideways and powered amusedly with entertainment manner. Means he was enjoying his fly and that is why he was just making sound. He was making moving here and there. Sometimes he was facing straight and to the sea beneath try to reach and try to move out from there. How can you feel? First of all, I will give an example to you about that. First time when we learn how to do the cycling, what we are doing, we are just making, uh, we are paddling again very fast, sometimes very slow, sometimes we try to be run uh, on the cycle and then feel we will sit. So that is the thing. Whatever other excitement at that time when we learn something new, likewise that he was also flying at that time and he was amused. He was enjoying his fly, uh, flying. So he was making sound and making very, and feeling so joyful at that time because before that he was very much uh, uh, fearing. You can say that is why he was not coming out from his ledge. His parents and his brother and sister had to land it on the green flooring ahead of him. They were beckoning to him, calling Shirley. He dropped his leg to stand on the green sea. His leg sank into it. He screamed with a uh, fright and attempted to rise again, flapping his wings, but he was dry 
and weak with hunger and he could not rise exhausted and he was uh, trying to flying and he was enjoying also that but uh, the, uh, he was very much exhausted because he was not eating from the last from 24 hours so that is why he was so much uh, tired also and hunger also by his the strange exercise his feet sank into the green sea and then his belly touched it and he sank on uh, no uh, further he was floating on it and round him his family was screaming praising him and their beaks were offering him scraps of dogfish he had made his first flight the writer wants to say that uh, then he completely forgot that he had not always been able to fly he commanded himself to dive and so as he was near the sea now flying straight over it he saw a vast green sea beneath him his parents and his brother and his sister had landed on the green surface of the water ahead of him they were calling him to do the same thing he dropped his leg to stand on the green sea but his leg sank into it he cried with fear he tried to rise again flapping his wings but he was tried and weak with hunger he could not rise he felt sank into the green sea his belly touched it but he sank no further he was floating on it around him his family crying and praising to him it was offering him a scrap of dogfish he was made him this was made him first flight so right to was uh, just tell the experience of uh, his that uh, he was trying to whatever is there he tried to be learn the fly flying how to fly but uh, in the end uh, he was sank into the water and uh, at last his mother hits him upon a plane and try to be make him but uh, the seagull finally learns how to fly and that is the main motive of their parents to teach his child how to fly because it is compulsory for them that they have to be know how to fly so here children our teachers our parents always taking some hard steps for us they are teaching us they because they know that this is compulsory for our further life for our future life that is why sometimes they are taking strict action to against you to teach something so you have to take all these things positively and have to learn what your parents and elder wants to teach you okay now i will start next story